Welcome to Smart Notebook Math Tools. In this session, we'll be looking at how to use graph tables and the graphing tools. First, using graph tables. In the past, we could get a table by selecting our table icon and choosing the type of table we wanted. However, after that, if we wanted to use it for mathematics, we would have to start to edit and resize. And this was not always an easy task. As we tried to create a graph table that the students could use. So here, I'm trying to create a table of values for the students. So opening up my keyboard and creating a table of values that the students could use. Not always an easy task. But with a bit of practice, it could be done. Now, with math tools, this becomes so much simpler for the teacher. So using a graph tables icon on the secondary toolbar or the math toolbar, we could readily create a table of values that we could give to the students and they could focus on their math. For example, to create a table of values for the following functions, let's start with y equals 2x minus 5. So again, going to our graph tables icon on our secondary toolbar or math toolbar, choosing a table of values where the students can now open the keyboard. And as they calculate their values, they can enter it into the spaces using the keyboard tab button and moving right along, input the different values. And with that easy process then, they could concentrate on looking for patterns as they input the values. So that once done, they may recognize that they have patterns in the table, such as the difference, finite differences. So calculating our finite differences, they start to recognize the relationship between the finite difference and the coefficient of the variable term x. Next, we'll look at our graphing tools. Again, in the past with notebook software or other ways of graphing, the, student, the teachers could use their graph board, their blackboard, and draw their graphs. They may even purchase permanent grids that they could stick to their boards. They could buy portable grids, which they hung and then drew on. They could use their smart boards start to create graphs that they could store in their galleries. But now we have math tools, which makes graphing much easier. With the graph tools, we have instant access to a variety of graphs. So by just selecting the graph icon on the secondary or primary 
the secondary or math toolbar, we could choose a Cartesian graph. Or we could choose our quadrant graph. Or we also had instant access to a number line. For example, first of all, for our number lines, select the graph icon on the secondary or math toolbar. Select and grab and drag to move it onto the workspace. Select and then you can resize with the resize tool in the bottom right corner. We also have pull down menus for other actions. And we can also rotate so that we could have horizontal or vertical number lines, or in fact, slanted number lines where we could be have discussions of could negative direction be going down and to the left. With our Cartesian graphs, again, using the graph icon and selecting for a Cartesian graph, hold the white space on the outside of the grid to move the graph onto the workspace. Select the graph so that you can use the resize tool. You also have a pull down menu for other actions. And then to use the graph, itself by double clicking we can put in points on a graph and with a single click we can also give coordinates to that point Notice that we can get um, snap two points to a half. By double clicking on the points, we can remove a point just as readily as we could put a point in. For our quadrant graphs, you can use the same process with the graph icon selected and then quadrant graph Again, using the outside space around the grid to move the graph, selecting the graph to resize, double clicking to put in points, and single clicking to put in coordinates, and double clicking to remove points. In our next session, we will be looking at how to customize our graph and use the graph wizard.